What's up everybody? How are you? It's Mikey B of Mikey B Cards here tonight to talk to you about redemptions, specifically Panini redemptions. Now, some people kind of loathe when they hit redemptions in one of their boxes. I might be one of the few that actually really like them. Um, I like redemptions for a couple of reasons. Um, now, of course, the downside is you don't get your card right away, which is always a bummer. But I do find a ton of enjoyment in knowing that a really cool card is going to be coming to me in the mail sometime. I'm never really sure when I'm going to get them, but it's always really exciting. Sometimes I, I get redemptions and I input them and I forget about them. And then next thing I know, they're in my mailbox, which is just like one of the coolest feelings ever. So regardless of how you feel about redemptions, they're part of the hobby. They're not going away. Um, I know that all the major manufacturers do as good a job as they can to make sure all those autographs are returned and ready the moment the product is about to hit the shelf. But the truth of the matter is things happen and sometimes all those cards can't get back on time. So what do you do? So for those of you who aren't familiar with what a redemption card looks like, looks like from Panini's standpoint, it basically looks like this. It says valued collector with information on the back side. And then on the front side will be all your information about what the redemption is. Now, I've put some painter's tape over my code, but normally right here you'd have a code where you could scratch with a coin. You get your redemption code that you would insert into the website, which we'll go to in just a second. And we're going to show you actually how to not only redeem your redemptions, but to check on the status of your redemptions. So this one was a 2018 Plates and Patches printing plate autograph. So... It's an interesting one I pulled from my pile. Uh, it's a deck uh, Prescott. It's interesting because as a printing plate, that means it's a one of one and it's autographed. So I'm hoping that because it's a redemption, it's gonna be an on-card autograph versus a sticker. So pretty exciting to get that one of one from Dak Prescott sometime in the mail, not too shortly. So you get your redemption, you've scratched off your code. What on earth do you do then, right? Well, let's check it out. So I'm gonna pull up here uh, Panini's website. So this is available at Panini America, all one word, so PaniniAmerica.net. That's where you go to access all sorts of things from Panini. Their store, the rewards program, you can learn about new releases, their digital products, and so on and so forth. So Panini recently revamped their website, hence why a lot of people are confused about where do you go for redemptions and what do you do? So it's actually quite easy. So normally up here at the top, there's a place to log in. I've elected to cut that portion of the uh, of the website off uh, just so you don't see my information or whatever, but it would be right there where you would uh, access your profile and so forth. But you want to start by just going to this support button right here, and you can see a drop-down list right off the bat telling you about, you'll notice right there, <laughs> redemptions, damage cards, and so forth. Um, what's interesting about support is that not only can you get your redemptions fulfilled, but if uh, you open a box and that box said that, hey, it, uh, it's an on average guarantee of four autographs and you only get one autograph or you get no autographs, that's a place where you can input that information and Panini will connect with you to figure out what to do. It's also a place where you can go and file a quality assurance um, or a damaged card report, which I've had to do. Um, on a card that I got that uh, one of the corners was badly damaged when I opened it. Sometimes Panini is able to replace those cards. Um, sometimes they are not. Um, in my case, they were actually not able to replace the card, which was kind of a bummer because it was a one-on-one. So I was a little devastated there, but I was extremely happy because Panini asked me who were my favorite teams, and they sent me not only my card back, so even though it's damaged, at least I still have it back in my collection, but they also threw in some really nice extras, which they didn't have to do, but I was really, really pleased that they did. But if you go into support and go ahead and click it, you got a couple things here that you can access. Redeem your redemptions, which is where we're gonna go right there. Create ticket, which is where if you had a quality assurance problem, or you can check your ticket, ticket status. So like if I wanted to figure out, hey, where's, where's that damaged car in the process, I could click there. But today we're gonna concentrate on redeeming redemptions. So there is a spot where it normally would ask you to log in. Um, if you, it's your first time redeeming a redemption, you've got to you know, create your own account. It only takes two seconds, ask you some pretty basic information and so forth. But here's the main page when it comes to redemption. So you've got the key right here. So that coincides with that code that's on the scratch off. 
So this is where you would input that and verify. Um, and that's where you would enter to get your redemption. So if you want to see what your redemptions look like, you can go right up here to My Requests and Open Requests. And here's all the redemptions that you have. Now, you'll notice that, yeah, I, I have a lot. I totally get that. Um, but the reason I have a lot is, one, I love redemptions and so forth. There are a lot of people that say, oh, you know, redemptions kind of stink because they take forever to fulfill. And you know what? Sometimes they do. Um, you know, I don't think that's entirely under the control of Panini. I know that they do their best, but, you know, the athlete still has to get the card, sign the cards, and send the card back. So, you know, it takes two to tango kind of there. What's nice is that I'm going to show you something that you can do if you have redemptions that are older than four to six months, uh, such as I have here. So, for instance, I've got a redemption here from May 29th. So this is almost a year old. If I actually click on the redemption information here, you would see that it's a 2017 Panini Select Rookie Signature Memorabilia Prism of Dalvin Cook. So it's a Dalvin Cook RPA out of 199. So uh, I still PC Dalvin Cook, so I'll be very interested in getting that card back. So I'm uh, curious to see when that is sent. So this is in your open request where you can see everything. New request right here is, once again, where you would enter in that code enter in if you have a factor damaged card or if you have a quality assurance um, request in there. I found that when you do have a QA ticket open, once it hits the queue, if you have a question about status, um, Panini is pretty quick to get back to you. So make sure to feel free to reach out to them. Now, a lot of people sometimes wonder, hey, what's the status of some of these redemptions? So I'll just click on another random one here. So. Here's a card from 2016 Infinity, Myriad Marks. It's an autograph card at a 188 of Emmanuel Sanders. So let's just say I'm a diehard Broncos guy and I'm dying to know what's going on with this redemption. So it doesn't really tell me much other than when it was received and so forth and that the status is still active. So here's what you can do, guys. I'm going to click over here to Twitter um, and I'm going to bring up the website of at Panini CSM, Customer Service Manager, at Panini CSM. At Panini CSM, unfortunately I don't know the gentleman's name, but I've interacted with him several times, is just a phenomenal guy. He's very, very quick usually to answer DMs, not all the time. You have to understand that he is getting bombarded with requests every single day. So there's always people wanting to know, where's my redemption? Has this person signed? Yada, yada, yada. I'm going to clue you guys in on a, a pretty well-known secret when it comes to redemptions and dealing with Panini CSM. Um, if you're really nice to him, he actually does a really great job in responding to you, and he's nice to you back. So I see people all the time on Twitter. They post like, oh, I haven't gotten my redemption in a year. What the hell? And, you know, I get it. it I understand that you're frustrated. You want your card and so forth. But you know what? Um, you really can't, um, you really can't expect a really overly positive response if you're going to be such a negative Nancy. So I would just tell you, send out a tweet to at Panini CSM. It's really super easy. You know, you hit your tweet button and you just tag him in your post at Panini CSM right there. Okay. And you can say, I was wondering if you could help me on the status of, and then include the number, which if you go back here, include that request number right there at the top in your tweet and say, hey, can you tell me about the status of 1222075? And then wait for his response. Now, here's the deal. Panini CSM, this is his job. So guess what? If you're going to tweet to him on Saturday night at midnight or Sunday at noon, he's not going to respond, right? So try to get them during business hours. Um, Panini is located in Texas, so they're in that middle time zone or whatever. Um, and don't be afraid to, uh, you know, tweet them a couple of times. I'm not saying tweet them like six times a day, but, you know, try to reach out to them. If you need help, tag someone in the industry. Tag one of your favorite breakers. You can even tag me at Mikey B. Cards um, on Twitter. I'm more than happy to help retweet or reach out as well. Um, whatever I can do to, to personally help and so forth. But I've always found um, Panini CSM to be a wonderful partner to work with whenever I need information. If he can't help you directly, he'll tell you, hey, email this person or we haven't heard back yet and so forth. 
I would say the key when it comes to redemptions is you just, you got to have patience, right? Um, hopefully they come in quickly and hopefully you enjoy the surprise when they do. I know I always love when I open the mailbox and I see something from Panini. It's pretty exciting. My other piece of advice, guys, is listen, this is a hobby. It's supposed to be fun, right? So if you're really going to get bent out of shape about having to wait for something, or you know whatever um if you're just not a fan of redemptions same thing that i would tell people when it comes to like points here's what i would do sell the card sell the redemption then you don't have to worry about it you know you get cash right then and there you don't have to worry about how long you have to wait and so forth there are plenty of people that will buy redemptions plenty i'm one of them um there's quite a few it doesn't matter if it's their favorite player or from a set they like maybe someone's trying to complete a rainbow there's always somebody, whether it's a, you know, a one of one or just a base autograph of a no name rookie and so forth. Um, you'd be surprised at what the market is for redemptions out there. So leverage your Twitter and Instagram communities or eBay when it comes to selling your redemptions. If it's something that you just don't want to wait for. Um, if it's a really huge card, like let's say, for instance, it's something like a, a one of one Baker Mayfield or whatever. And it's something that you don't want to sell that you're excited for. Once again, just exercise patience. The card will get to you as fast as it can. And when it does, you'll be able to celebrate the fact that you've got this really awesome uh, thing to add to your collection. Or to trade off to a friend or whatever you want to do with it. But hopefully it will come in there soon. Um, the other thing is kind of, as I mentioned, is that if you do have uh, redemptions that are significantly older in the system, I believe the cutoff is four months. It's four or six months. I can't quite remember. You can always contact Panini uh, CSM and just say, hey, I've got these redemptions that are, uh, you know, a year old. I don't want to wait for them anymore. What can we do? He'll actually give you the name of someone to contact. Um, they'll ask you a couple of questions and they'll either, if they, if they don't have the cards available already, <clears throat> they will offer up some kind of substitute. Um, and I've always found that the substitute cards are, are quite nice. So you always have that route that you can go as well. Some people do ask, Hey Mikey, what happens if my redemption card is expired? Because that does happen. You know, sometimes you pull from older product. What happens then? I would still put the redemption in the system. You could still contact P, uh, Panini CSM after four months because Panini will redeem that redemption. Either they got the card already in their archives or, like I said, they'll replace it. Don't put the redemption in and then like two days later, you know, contact Panini and say, hey, where is this? Uh, it doesn't work that way, guys. Um, you've got to let a little bit of time pass, but don't be afraid. If you have an expired um, redemption, because Panini is very, very good about um, still redeeming those and still uh, making sure that you, you get cards for those. Not every manufacturer is like that. I know it's a little bit different for Tops or Upper Deck or, or Leaf and so forth. So you do want to pay attention with those other companies around the expiration dates and find out what their policies are. Um, but with Panini, they do a good job of either getting you that card, even if the redemption is expired, or giving you something in substitute. So I hope this short tut uh, tutorial was helpful for you now that you know where to redeem your, your numbers, um, where to find the status and so forth, and who to contact if you have questions. If you need anything else, just put a comment right down below in this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe as well because I put new content out um, a couple times a week. I'm more than happy to answer questions or do anything I can to help continue to educate the hobby. So please refer to this video if anyone has any questions. That's exactly why I made it. Um, hopefully this is something that's helpful. Uh, thanks a lot for the time, guys. And I hope that you get those redemption cards filled fast and with uh, something to add to your PC. Have a wonderful night. Peace out.